Thank you, Chair and members. My name is Susan Swift Arnall. I'm an attorney with the Right to Life League, America's first pro-life organization. You already are well aware that SB 1142 violates our California Constitution because it is one-sided in its funding, making no funding accommodation for childbirth services as required under our state Supreme Court ruling in Committee to Defend Reproductive Rights versus Myers. That was decided in 1981. The word abortion appears more than 60 times in this bill. The word childbirth does not appear at all, not even once. All the grants this bill envisions are for abortions only, not prenatal care, not maternal care, not childbirth, just abortions. SB 1142 may create a huge national abortion trafficking system open to widespread abuse and fraud across state lines. For example, how will verification of eligibility to travel here be determined. Only pregnant people who wish to abort are eligible to travel here under these funds. Who is to confirm the pregnancy before the patient arrives in California for their free abortion? What ramifications will California face for enticing underage girls here from other states to perform procedures that may be illegal in those other states? Will SB 1142 traffic underage minors to California without parents' knowledge for abortion procedures? Will abusers and sex traffickers transport underage girls here to procure secret abortions on the taxpayer's dime? And what if women who come here change their minds and want to keep their baby? Will taxpayers simply avoid, ab absorb the cost? Or will we tell those women that the state programs won't pay for their expenses, a form of financial coercion, forcing women to close their eyes and spread their legs in stirrups to avoid the costs of travel, lodging, lost wages, sick pay, and child care, which the state's going to advance? This ill-advised program to favor one reproductive choice over another was unconstitutional in 1981, and remains unconstitutional today for very good reasons. I recommend a no vote on SB 1142. Thank you. Thank you. 